Hi everybody, it's meteorologist Joe Chaffee. We had a solar eclipse today. Uh, you may want be wondering, well, I didn't see it. Well, you had to be in the southern hemisphere to see it uh, in uh, South America and Chile uh, and in uh, several other nations uh, in South America. You were able to you were able to see the eclipse, but uh, we can actually see how it looks like on the uh, satellite loop. So I'm going to take myself out of the picture here. Now, that line that sweeps in from the right to the left is actually the sunrise. And then you'll see this black spot that moves across the screen. Uh, that is the eclipse itself. There it is, uh, at racing across the, Pacific, the southern Pacific Ocean. There goes the sunrise. And there goes the black spot. Now, I'm going to uh, widen this out uh, a bit. And what you can also see here, so you can get some land perspective, you see where North America is. That's Hurricane Barbara that is out in the eastern Pacific. Uh, it is a major hurricane. And then, of course, you go to the southern hemisphere, and there's your eclipse uh, that went uh, very quickly uh, across uh, the Pacific Ocean and into South America. And right at the time that it came ashore, the sunset uh, is coming in. If you look very closely, you can see that little black shading there. That is actually the uh, sunset uh, for the day that is moving westward. So there was a very, very small area there along the west coast of South America where the uh, eclipse was visible. Now, uh, just a uh, a quick view here of at least the Hurricane Barbara. If there's a pinprick there right in the center, that is a well-developed eye. And this is going to probably peak out in intensity over the next uh, 24 hours or so, and then gradually go to what we refer to as the uh, Pacific Graveyard. So at a solar eclipse, uh, not going to have one here, I believe, until sometime in, in the... Uh, 2020s so we've got some time uh before it uh, is going to be we're going to have one visible here uh in north america just real quick as far as our weather is concerned for the next several days if you're worried about the fourth of july don't uh for the most part it's going to be another very warm and humid day and of course we've got wednesday first and it's going to be warm and humid maybe some scattered showers and thunderstorms i'm thinking the best chance for uh, storms on wednesday will be in central and south jersey and point southward and only till late no, only late in the afternoon and evening i think thursday for the vast majority of the area from easternmost pennsylvania to southern new england there won't even be any showers or thunderstorms uh, to worry about and that much of the day will just be uh, a hot and humid day with temperatures in the 80s to around 90 degrees. Don't forget, on uh, in the morning, we have weather in five, five days in five minutes. And, of course, you can follow all the summer weather uh, along with any severe weather outbreaks that we may or may not have on my weather app, which you can download for free on Google Play or on the App Store. Just search Meteorologist Joe Chaffee or just Joe Chaffee. Have a good evening, everybody.